This is a car that drives on water and it's unlike anything I've ever seen before. I saw this thing on the internet and I was like, all right, we have got to do this. It's one of the newest millionaire toys in Dubai and this one is modeled after a Corvette. Now, you can rent one for about $700 per hour or you can buy one for approximately $40,000 to $50,000 if you go for the full spec version. Now, when I first saw it, I immediately assumed it was a jet ski, but when you step inside, you realize that it works and it feels more like a small boat. Is this a jet ski? Is this a little tiny boat? They were like, it's both. It has a steering wheel and a gas pedal like a real car. It has a gear selector like a real car, but it has no brakes like a jet ski. So start is here? Yeah. Okay, we're on, we're on. Oh, okay, we're going forward already. Oh, Let's yeah. do it! <laughs> to slow down, you just gotta put your foot off the gas. However, just like a Corvette, the engine is in the back and it's actually pretty big at 1,800 cc. The car has a bunch of buttons on the center console, main cabin lights, running lights, and even a windshield wiper. I thought the windshield wiper was just there for decoration until we actually drove this thing. <laughs> I can't see anything. Where's the, where's the windshield, yeah, windshield wiper? Okay. To be honest, you get less wet than when you're on a jet ski and you stay dry the majority of the time. But every now and then, you do catch a wave that goes over the windshield and completely drenches you. Oh my God. <laughs> The car even has a radar and GPS installed in the middle in case you get lost. This Aqua Corvette doesn't have any functional doors, so the only way of getting in is stepping directly on the seats. Can you imagine stomping on a real Corvette seats to get in? The car itself can hit up to 100 kilometers per hour, so if you think about it, this thing would be fast enough to legally drive on most highways around the world if it could drive on land. This car isn't actually amphibious. The car has wheels, but they don't move. It's just part of a shell that wraps around the frame. So yeah, I mean, it's just plastic. The idea originated in Egypt with a guy named Kareem. Three and a half years ago, Kareem designed a Corvette style aquatic car with two of his closest friends. And the moment they started driving around, they started getting attention and buyers. Obviously, I mean, look at this thing. <laughs> if you're just walking down the beach and you look over, obviously that'll catch your attention, right? Now, Kareem's taken this vehicle to Dubai where he plans to expand even further. Future plans include a truck, a Bugatti and an Aston Martin all will be driven on the water just like this one. I'm excited to see what the truck looks like because that'll be pretty cool. Now, there have been real amphibious vehicles in the past, like the water car Panther, which kind of looks like a Jeep, except you can literally launch straight into the water from the road and back. No problem at all. You also have the Gibbs Quad Ski, which is a little smaller, more like a quad, and it's got retractable wheels, which is actually pretty cool. Kind of like a James Bond gadget, right? And speaking of James Bond, we have the Scuba by Rinspeed, which is a real car that can literally submerge underwater. The drivers have like a scuba tank and oxygen masks that come with the car so that they can continue breathing while driving underwater. And this car was inspired from James Bond's Lotus of Spirit from the movie The Spy Who Loved Me. However, of all the aquatic cars that we mentioned, this one is definitely the most accessible to the general public. Thank you.